Today is day 28 of sitting in front of the camera and just recording. So we're getting very close to the end of this series and it's a, that's been kind of fun. I don't wanna get into too much of what I have been kind of learning and what I've experienced because I kind of wanna say that for kind of like the last day video or even just the overall summary of how things have been going so i can sit a little bit spend a little bit more time on how things are actually going and not just kind of what is feeling like it's going well i'm hoping oh it's just there's some noise outside and, and i i swear i hear cats fight all the time out here so it's so it's just kind of like making sure there's not a cat fight just right out the window I was gonna say, I'm hoping I'm in frame. I tried a different kind of lighting and kind of positioning. So I tried to focus on, so I have only one singular light in the middle of the room. And I have noticed that if I'm sitting kind of like, so, sorry, let me take off my shoes. I just got back, we, we've been doing laundry. But when it comes to the lighting and stuff, we have one lighting that's just kind of like right above my head. And I am trying to make sure because the lighting kind of goes out like this. I wanted you guys to be right underneath it because then the light should be able to hit my face. Whereas if I like turn away, side, the side of my face is probably really shadowed right now. Another thing that I wanted to focus on was kind of where I'm sitting. So if you've noticed, I have taken account in like the shelving and the photo. I try to make sure that I kind of got a little bit more of the, that stuff in there. So hopefully, I'm like keeping my fingers crossed when I go back and look at this. I actually am pretty well like centered and there's not too much like empty space because I have noticed that sometimes when you have just a bunch of empty space, it doesn't seem as like high quality if you want to say. It just keeps seems a little bit bland. Whereas like if I have things kind of off to the side and kind of have things balanced then it kind of seems a little bit better in my opinion but like i said i won't fully know if i even execute this right until i'm done with this video because a lot of the times i set it up i have lines on my phone to kind of help me like show where i'm going to be in the middle of and i kind of put the lines for being in the middle where i want to be and i usually use my hand to kind of like show where i need to be sitting to fully get into that frame and that experience and that's kind of what i've been doing and then after that i just press record and i go i don't take a lot of extra shots like i think there was only once that i ended up pausing the video and double checking because it looked like the camera was not looking at me at all and i was just completely like maybe here <laughs> down <laughs> And so I just, I double checked on that one and I didn't even have to. So I, yeah, it's kind of just the thing where I've been picking up these small things that I've been really enjoying when filming that I do want to keep incorporating and keep experimenting with because like I said, just like with this light, I need to stop looking at that light. Sorry, I have a, <laughs> I have a light circle in my eyes right now. I keep looking up at it instead of just pointing. But like just having this light right here and focusing on that I don't have a bunch of shadows on my face, which I might still have some like under the nose, like under the chin. And that's kind of a hard thing to kind of miss or like not have happen when you have overhead light, unless if you're like recording all the way back here, like I don't have any shadows now, <laughs> which is impractical. Also, I forgot to mention, if you hear any running water, uh, the shower and just the plumbing, you hear a lot of that noise while you're in this room. So if you hear any of that, that's what that is. It's laundry day, so we're finally, we finally have clean clothes again. Oh. If you have never traveled as like a one bag person for longer than I want to say like a month, and only have two packing cubes worth of clothing for hot and cold you don't know what the, you don't understand the relief that i'm feeling right now because the last time we had access to a washer 
at least, like just a washer, we could dry our clothes and stuff, was not too gross anybody out, but like a month ago. <laughs> Around there, a little less than a month, but about a month. And that pretty much got us through all our stuff and like our socks, our socks were getting pretty grimy. And so it's just oh, so thankful that we have things washed and it just, oh, it was such a, it was also something that we had been like wanting to do for the past week. And we just kept putting it off because we weren't sure how to do it. Cause we are staring in an Airbnb that kind of has a, group of people that kind of help show you how to do the thing, do everything, and the language that's on the machine is uh, Turkish, I'm pretty, pretty sure that's how you say it, but it's Turkish, and I can't understand Turkish, and so they kind of had to show us how to do things, because we can't read a lot of that stuff, we can translate it, but sometimes it doesn't translate very well, so. Yeah, that's kind of the update. I just wanted to kind of talk about the lighting because I think lighting is really important and how things are going with the clothing. And it's, I guess one of the biggest things I also wanted to say before I fully close this out was I've also learned I want to make more like long form content and some like the vertical, no horizontal content not vertical not like the shorts and stuff which I've been recording almost everything in that format because I was trying to get it into my 1% series and for shorts you have to record it that way and so I personally am starting to record everything horizontally and if I want to make a short out of it I can readjust the ratios and stuff like that but I'm focusing on more of that content and I've realized there's so many more ways to do things and there's so many more ways to capture stuff that I just, I feel personally that it's just a little bit better to record horizontally than ver ver yeah, vertically. I always get those two mixed up, but pretty much shorts or YouTube videos is how my brain works. And so, I want to start doing more of long term, long form content, something kind of like this, where I do kind of like a challenge or like practice something and I kind of put it all into a video and get it bit out to you guys. I'm like, this is what I've learned. This is how things are going. And what should you do it? So speaking of which, I will have a video about that when it comes to the 30 day challenge once. I get done with this because I want to like kind of get everything into one video and nicely wrap it for you guys so hopefully you'll enjoy that all right I'm just babbling on and I know it and so I just need to stop and call it all right bye guys oh.